This is the Raiders over the Geek Chest. My name's Steve, and today we got a fancy unboxing of a bunch of first figures for me. Hopefully, some people join here in just a few. But for you guys that are watching this in the future, how is it going? Uh, what we have here is the uh, it's a third party company, uh, Big Firebird Toys, and we got some people. Uh, what I got here is the Nicey, which used to be kind of like an RC variant. How's it going, fat blue cat face? I like the username. <laughs> uh, this is the first in the line that they've done. Uh, essentially, it's just a more um, uh, sexualized RC, if you will. Uh, originally, it wasn't anyways. Um, but uh, after some mishaps with Hasbro and Takara, uh, they had to change the head sculpts. So they used to have, like, I think it was this head, and then there was an RC head. But now it's just, uh, you just get this one with those alternate heads, which is cool. But I want to grab it. Also, I appreciate that the box knows their demographic. Uh, the other thing I got here is the Hot Toys Alita just showed up. I was going to save it to like, get the plastic out and everything originally. But I uh, decided just to get it out. I want to at least check it out a little bit before I went to work. Right? This thing is freaking huge. Uh, it's my first Hot Toys ever, uh, so that's sweet. Uh, it's the same with this. This is like my first third-party Transformer figure, I think. Looking over, there's actually Transformers over there, all my more pricey ones. And, yeah, they're all fairly legit stuff outside of, like, sort of bootlegs. Uh, also, doing this upstairs. I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, usually when I do the live streams, we do it down, usually in my office, but I was kind of lazy, and I feel like I know everything now. Hey, old Gisela, how's it going? Oh, it wasn't too bad. I had to do my other job, so uh, didn't really get to do too much like dinner wise because I had to be up. Uh, did see the new Mandalorian. Not going to talk about it too much uh, just in case if people haven't seen it because it has only been out for one a day now. But it was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, hey, Jason, Mister Shin Godzilla. So I guess we'll start with this one. We'll mess around with her for a few, and then we'll get into the Alita. Um, I was thinking about I was gonna do destroying the valley, but decided to just be like, now ah, what the hell? Um, because uh, again, like first hot toys ever, so want to make it a little bit special. Um, I haven't really seen too many of the reviews. Um, the Alita, I know um, the guy that I followed that um, helped me with the Giver figure that I made. Uh, he had one. He he liked it a lot. Uh, Mary's I got just because there's just like nothing Alita. Um, because I kind of want something that's like for like the old animes would be cool, but I there's only like one figure that I'm aware of, and she gets to be like if you want to buy, you could buy like the hot toys for the same price. But oh, yeah, it does have soft goods, doesn't it? <laughs> Looking at the packages, like showing off the stuff. Oh, it comes with a little card. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's try that more later because I don't know how much I'm going to really like be transforming it right now. Uh, but here it is in the package. You get a bunch of hands, swords. Hey, a little spear. This is like a shield gun. Uh, extra head, extra cleavage. Hey, BBQ. Also, sway. Is that how you say it? How's it going? Getting her out. It is 100% a full figure figure, which is kind of the point, I guess. I forgot how expensive this thing was, to be fair. Yeah, uh, I, I remember I pre-ordered a while back and then uh, got surprised. It was like, hey, it's finally in stock. And, oh, hey, you're also out $130. And just, yeah. Um, yeah, I was going to say the paint job on it's not too bad. I like the color variety. Thankfully, it's hard on the figure, so that's good to know. Eh, it's fine. It's only a high school DXD. Yeah, the anime style I wouldn't speak. Uh, no, the monster is Goji. I'm assuming it's fine. To be honest, like, even with Monster Arts, 
there's never like none of the figures that they've ever really made. I've ever really would say like they've been garbage or suck. There's been some that have been like definitely better than others. <laughs> but uh for the most part, like I think it's fine. Like uh, it's one of those like especially the Godzillas, I'm never really that worried about them. Season two was good. Uh, well, I, I, I made it through season two. Didn't really make it much into season three. Uh, so uh, got double jointed knees. Station. Looks like there's some die cast parts on here. Oh, it's got little pistons. That's kind of cool. I will say that some of this feels a little stiffer than others because this. This knee, <laughs> this knee don't want to move, and it's kind of scaring me. <laughs> so, oh, that's a little scary. For sure. Probably should really look up how this actually is supposed to go together. Zenobia's cool. Um, oh, I'm trying to remember. I like the black hair girl. Kino, was that her name? Back seat here for the car. To be honest, she's not too bad. It's just there's definitely a lot of stiff joiners. Yeah, you know. Okay, yeah. She was she was my favorite. She's always the one I've been kind of I like. If I was going to get a figure from High School DXD, it would probably be that. But yeah, I'm not really. Yeah, so I'm not like super displeased. Like she's got a nice size to her. Everything's kind of moving around as I feel like it should. Though I know they're showing stuff, so that pops up. Right. Uh, yeah, Arnez watched. Uh, I don't think he got through the entire show. I know he got farther than I did because he really liked high school or high school DXD. Um, cause he actually had some of the figures from it, but I don't think he got through the entirety. Cause I know he had a big complaint. once the, um, uh, I forget which season it is, but one of the seasons, the art style changes and it kind of turned him off on that one. <laughs> Just trying to rotate the head. You think I wouldn't have to grab the body in order to do it. But she seems like she needs a lot of play. If you know what I think I'm saying. Uh, you know what scares me too is you have to swap the heads out if you want to swap them. <laughs> this. Oh, okay. On a high note, it comes off real easy. So that's cool. It's just a little peg there. Oh, that ain't too bad. Yeah, it's one of those like definitely a hair dryer is probably going to be recommended. But yeah, I was gonna say from what I'm seeing, I'm liking a lot of the detailing on it. It's just a couple. It's mainly like some joint issues, but at least it's like not super loose joints or anything. Because even the the wheels here back here are rubber, which is cool. Uh, set that down. Get some of the other stuff out real quick. Before we get into the Alita. Um, but. Get a little hand cannon. This isn't too bad. You can maybe use a little bit more paint on it. Because it's definitely just very white. Especially with the cylinder there. Oh yeah. 100%. Because it's just like. It's like loose joints are just like a nightmare to try to fix. But. You get the. What appears to be the top of the car. This is on the table. This is a lot of small parts. Uh, but here's the extra head. The one with the tongue sticking out. And yeah, like the head sculpt, I think, actually looks really nice. Like, for the most part, like, I, I'll be honest. Like, I think she's probably... It's a third-party figure, so I'm kind of going to be a little bit more lenient on it. Also, why is her tongue white? You think they would have made her tongue pink or something? To kind of go along with the look, if you know. Oh, thanks, Hawks, please. 
Yeah, because the one anime I've been catching up a lot on is uh, ReZero. I've almost finally caught back up on the series, which has definitely um, gotten into a point where it's been weird. <laughs> weird to say the least. Here's their sword, which looks a lot like the uh, the Last Knight sword like uh, Optimus Prime had. Uh, again, maybe could use a little bit more coloring on this because it's, again, a lot of whites and pinks. Um, and it's just not a lot of variety, which I think for like on her body, for the most part, that works out really well. But there's a few like key areas that maybe could use a little bit more. Uh, but again, get the little, um, I think it's actually the bow. It's like the part for the bow accessory because their backpack can become that. Um, Here's our soft bits. <laughs> if you really want something to play with. Oh, it's kind of weird that like this part, like the neck region is a little bit hard, but this is a uh, squishy <laughs> for the most part. I'm just going to keep the plastic one on. It's okay. Thanks, Jason. Have a good time at work. I just got out a little bit ago. I'm going to be going to bed shortly after this video was done. Yeah, I haven't even like remotely checked out a regular because probably when I get re zero done, there's that um oh it's a new anime. I'm trying to remember the title. It's like jujitsu like jujitsu something. Jujitsu something. Baron. Yeah, it is very Valkyrie like. Like I think like I to be honest, I kind of like the kibble. <laughs> it definitely gives her a lot more going on. But I think, but I got to see how you get it to where like the back of the car is kind of like the skirt. Um, I think it would be my preferred way of displaying it. Probably just like have that with like the sword and maybe use the shield. Eh, no, that's a lie. I'll probably actually use the gun for the most part. Well, they... It would be cool. Um, they were one of the ones like we were talking about way back in the day, like them doing the FNAF figures. I think they would really do a, do a really sweet job. Um, but I would imagine that's probably not going to be a thing until like the movie comes out, whenever that does. I want to get that Zilla Air, but it's so expensive. It's cool, though. I think it was like that price and it was like painted, but then that uh, makes it an X plus. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't be fair for the guy making it. Um, yeah, the kit. The Zilla kit, that thing was awesome. Okay, we're going to move away from her. Because uh, it looks like everything's attached, so I'm not quite certain how that's supposed to move on to the rest of the body. Because like that's like literally hooked onto the top of her head. So I got to be missing something. Oh, uh, maybe it has something to do with the little ball joints back here. If I had to venture a guess, I'd probably have to pop those off and hook them in there. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. It's like a lot of like the kid stuff. Like it's super cool, but it's like, and I get it because um, with the plastic and like the, the 3D print, like the time it takes the 3D print that thing. And then the materials get kind of pricey up there. So it's like, I see where the cost is. But then it's like, then I got to paint it. And the problem with painting, like, um, the Zilla, per se, is unlike the dinosaur figures and stuff, like, it's got way more, like, little intricate details that you'd have to pay attention to. Yeah, to be fair, if you bought it, I mean, I'd, I was say, I'd do it. <laughs> Maybe work something out. You get two of them, and I'll do them both at the same time. That'd be great. Uh, the Instagram story regarding me watching it, but I don't think. Eh, yeah, it's, uh, this is kind of out of periodically. Um, part seven, I don't think I've seen anywhere. Okay, let's just say, Dwadaline, we got to get this thing opened. Well, I'm pretty sure, uh, going back to Fat Blue, if, uh, if uh, Monsters made a Gabafer, I'm pretty sure Arnaz would uh, sh shit the bed, for lack of a better word. 
The one thing, too, like with this box, I really like. I don't know if you guys can see it on here, but there's like circuits. And to, when it hits the light, you can kind of see it. But it has like this nice little like refraction on it, which is really cool. Okay. Uh, oh, for the Nicey, I got mine from um, TF Source, which I think it was like where they had them. It was pretty much all the same price, but I think she sold out. Uh, don't quote me on it though. Like they might have maybe had like some people cancel the orders. Here she is out of the box. Yeah, really, it's, um, I've only ever really seen like I've seen a few Hot Toys in person. Um, there's a, like a Ventures Toy Shop that has the Spider Man Three Hot Toy. Which I don't even like the movie, but the it, I almost wanted to buy it just because it looked cool. <laughs> it's Black Spider Man. What does it matter if it's from probably the worst, well, close to the worst Spider Man movie? But it comes with a base, which I guess I'm gonna sit here and put it together. I don't know if this is gonna full flag review. Um, because I think the one problem that this figure had is that this thing probably should have been out a little bit ago to kind of coincide with the movie. But the one thing I thought was pretty cool is she actually comes with the base. So you can have her stand in the rubble. And the actual base itself, which is kind of weird, is this actually hollow? Like, it's got a weird weight distribution because the top feels kind of hefty, but, like, there's, like, nothing to this thing. Plate looks really nice. So it's got, like, this little reflect, uh, refractive thing going on with it. But... She's got a clamp and a pole. Also, my lighting in this room is abysmal. <laughs> so I had to open the windows, and I think the sun's finally getting up, so like my dome's glistening over here. Uh, so how does that happen? Oh, it's back here. There's a little hole. Um, I never messed with these before, so I'm kind of winging this as I go. There's a hole on the bottom here. There's no hole here, so I'm assuming open hole goes towards the top. I'd venture a guess. There we go. Yeah, the Prider Hot Toys would be sweet. I actually uh, got a buddy that was possibly selling them, but he lives over uh, in the UK. So I, did, we, I would definitely have to wait till COVID was over for... Uh, any kind of transaction to happen. But he has like the AVP ones, and I, I definitely wouldn't mind a Hot Toys Wolf Predator. Would be dope. Yeah, Scott Bar is cool. Scott Bar is the one with the, he actually has the gun, right? That one's actually really sweet. Um, it'll definitely be like one if I seen it in stores, I'd be way more akin to buying it. Because um, for the most part, I don't really order too many NECAs outside of like some of the exclusives and what have you. Um, so I was like, I definitely can't go that way because of the rock there. So I'm pretty sure that attaches here. Then goes in. A little weird. Like it looks nice from the front. It's just kind of <laughs> a little odd. I even bought the last one. I actually I saw it in stores recently, and I kind of want. I I probably should have grabbed it. Yeah, this is a, it's definitely a cool base. I think I, it kind of like helped uh, uh, with me wanting to purchase it because I was like, I don't know, it's a hot toys, it's expensive. I did like the movie. Um, actually, I like the movie a lot more than I bought it. And it's one of those movies too. I'm kind of surprised nobody really. Uh, that came out with anything else like a figure arts or like a figma anything stateside <laughs> there's nothing uh, except for the hot toys which i think it was like a, about a year and a half ago i pre-ordered this thing and yeah. <clears throat> uh i though i do remember when i pre-ordered her originally she had hair uh which is definitely not a thing that they did 
uh, for the official release. Because I remember, um, I think the prototypes had hair, and then it changed. I guess I think I got my phone off. <laughs> At least I hope I have my phone off. Yeah, pretty much almost all like the um, the pr like the predator ones are pretty sweet. Oh man, I'm gonna have to figure all this tape is, and I don't wanna. It's definitely a um, anime movie wise. I can't really think of a better one off the top. Of it. Like any like live like any of the um, like live action the uh, or anime two live action <laughs> movies. Um, it's definitely I would say my favorite out of the bunch. Though has the ending is definitely a little bit rushed in it. Uh, outside of that, I think that was really my only complaint. Like the like. The graphics were sweet, and I'll be honest, like a lot of hat, like a lot of the movie, and especially the characters, like I feel like we're almost designed for this, like to be toys because they all look like very unique, and there's a lot going on with them that would would have made for some pretty sweet toys, uh, especially a lot of the villains, uh, which I oddly enough can't really remember many other names. I also like too that she's got like little own things to keep her arms from coming into contact. Hey, Luminous. How's it going? Um, it's not bad. Like, I would say I haven't really looked at it too much because I've been trying to get the strip of plastic things off. <laughs> the feet are a nightmare. And my knife is not very sharp. Oh, and there goes Aaron blowing up the phone. Um, there we go. It's not bad, but I think like especially like dynamic poses, it's not gonna really work out too well. Does that come off? Yeah, it's held on my Midas. Why is it held on my Midas? <laughs> oh, you can do the eyes. Is that it? Okay, <laughs> so it's like I don't recall there being a thing, but I haven't looked up anything yet. I like I mentioned before. I usually try to avoid uh, checking out other people's reviews in case I decide to do them, just so that um, uh, like I have my own like fresh take on it, if you will. Holy crap! No, there's wants to come off. All right, we're going to put that back on because it's kind of bothering me. Although, I was going to mention, like, it almost looked like her, this is a different color than her head, but that is because her tape around her neck. That uh, definitely throws that off a bit. Anyways, how's everybody else doing today? Yeah, it definitely looks like, looks like a cursed toy. That is for sure. Anybody get anything good on Black Friday? I know I, did, I didn't really do any shopping, sadly. To be honest, like a lot of the online deals were kind of like meh at most of the places. Like, especially like figure wise, there wasn't really like a whole heck of a lot going on. Actually, it's a cool movie. It's just like, if you can get past the anime eyes, uh, which I actually thought was a cool, like a cool take on it. Because uh, it helped to kind of convey that she's not human, more so than the robot body. Which I will say, like detail-wise, the body looks really nice. A lot of, like the metallic muscle fibers. There's a lot of nice color variety all over the place. Um, I think it still would have been better if it actually had like the legit hair. Um, because even looking at the package, like she's kind of got like um. It's a little like the hair's kind of flowing down across her face a little bit, and you don't really get that on the actual figure. But then again, <laughs> if uh, actually had a uh, hair, uh, I guess like collectible wise, it's a lot more maintenance. Uh, which I could see that being kind of a negative in its own way. Like this definitely is a lot more favorable for dusting. Um, I don't think I've heard about a Mezco Jungle Hunter. 
Uh, they just talked like announce it recently or go for pre order. So, I like it. I don't think I've seen anything on it. Well, there was something Mezco related I seen that looked kind of cool. Definitely what well, let's just say that Doom Slayer looks cool. Oh, okay. I think I got it all off. Now it's just pop her hair off again. We gotta figure out how to get this tape off. There's a little piece here. Thankfully, not yet, but we're working on it. We are surely working on it. It's it's always like the terrifying thing, of like when you like get a new figure. I know, like um, with the Rafellos, uh. I was being very digital originally messing around with the uh, articulation for that thing, especially seeing like people on Facebook and stuff with the um, snap foot joints and what have you. But it was one of those kind of like, it's you like took your time with it. It looked good. I also like she has like the Hot Toys logo on the back of her head. God, I wish I had. Is that what this is for? It comes with this. I am assuming this is probably for moving the eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely that. <laughs> oh, that's <crazy. laughs> definitely got some Woody vibes. If I do say, you just kind of have them. Ever looking up, kind of like rolling the back of her head, and then just kind of moving around. All right, definitely have to play around with that later. That's kind of cool. Actually, uh, it looks nice. Probably is now they're like slightly off center, and I'm gonna have to see her tweak it till I can uh, get it the way I want. Yeah, because even like a lot of the sales, because it was like right stuff was doing like, oh, we're doing 40% off, but anything that's relatively good is only like five bucks if it was like $200 or more. And it was just like, eh, whatever, I guess. Oh, all right. Let's see one thing I don't like, I will say, is the paint for the top of the shoulders looks kind of sh shady. Um. Because. I don't know if it was like they painted the purple over top of it, but you definitely tell it's a little bit of an off-shaded color. Oh, cool. You did get them? All right. I was going to look it up later if... Uh... Uh, I was going to check the tracking later. All right, that's cool. Because uh, now I can actually finally work on... Get back to doing my Zolanoid Giver, trying to finish that dude out. Think okay, so on a good note, I'm not seeing paint scuffing. Yeah, like none of the online retailers really had anything like big bad. Nothing really was like super stand out from that. Um, even like general retails. Yeah, it's kind of weird trying to get this back in the place because, like, you kind of see, like, there's, like, a little bit of, like, the hair paint underneath it, which I didn't really notice that until I found out that you can take the head off of hair off. So that kind of changed everything a bit. Definitely a little bit scary. On a high note, everything kind of moves. There's Godzilla fig pins? New to me. <laughs> I personally haven't seen them. Never really got into those, to be fair. Like, it's kind of neat. Um, definitely saves you on shelf space, though. Ooh, it's ratchets. He did, uh, the Mazinger looked cool. Uh, what was it? They had like the Mezco Ghostbusters were like a hundred bucks off too. That's if I had extra money, that's not a kind of tempting. How does that been? All right, so it looks like there's a double knee joint. 
Okay. God, this is terrifying. Oh, actually, now we're talking about, I think I did remember seeing a 54 one. Uh, I did see the new Ultraman Z. I just, like, I haven't. I'm just waiting for this last year. Just Steve just start throwing things in anger because he snapped his hot toys figure. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, a little scary. Uh, for some of the accessories, she comes with the sword from the later portion of the movie. Definitely be displaying with that. To be honest, I'm probably going to put the clothes on her. Uh, it's more unlikely how I'm going to display it. Uh, I'm not certain what these are for. Looks like extra joints. Maybe hand joints? Oh, you know what? It's probably the hands. That kind of looks like those hand joints. Which kind of makes sense, like popping things in and out. You also get her hearts, which uh, right up front here, there's a little plate. That comes off, and then you can plug the wires into. Uh, again, ultimate. Oh, it's a magnet. That's kind of cool. I just rest in there. I do like the use of a lot of the magnets. Uh, also comes with a pair of boots. <laughs> so that'll be one thing you have to swap out. Though, so I guess that makes sense, like the boots with elevator. But the way the joint is inside the boot. Sorry, it was like... Been, I haven't a sore throat the past couple of days, so um, surprisingly I haven't been coughing, so that's cool. Um, but the way the joint is, it definitely would elevate the figure up. Then you get five extra hands, you get some open hands, some clenched fists, and then one gripping hand for the sword. So definitely have to put that on her. So does the zipper actually work? <laughs> Yeah, the 62 Diva Real looks sweet. I got to pre-order the uh, the Dr. Sarah Zala. I definitely want that. And to be, to be honest, too, like the I don't really like the Rick for that one. Like I kind of just want black and white and call it a day. <sighs> oh, that ain't a bad deal. Is it the... Um, the one with all of them in it? The newer one? That wouldn't be too bad. But tiniest way to zipper. Uh none of the Avengers. I don't I try to stay away from superhero stuff as much as possible. Um Though, I will say, I did pre-order the uh, Marvel Legends doing Into the Spider-Verse. I'm grabbing those. I actually really like that one. It's, probably, it's actually probably my favorite Spider-Man movie. Um, so definitely want to grab a few of those. Well, that ain't a bad deal at all, then. Because that's... um came with the Gamma of the Brave, right? Oh, the sad. Okay. Gotcha. All right, I'm better now. Yeah, I did see the McFarlane stuff because I follow him. I follow his stuff on like Facebook and Instagram. So I see a lot of it, even though most of it's like, eh, <laughs> for me. Um, cause hell, the only reason I got the one Batman was just to make a custom out of it. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have to check out the cameras. For sure. Because, like, I got, like, the... Uh, I think Gamers, like, the ones I got, like, the most, like, DVD versions of. Because, like, the Heisei ones, I probably got, like, three different box sets for those. Uh, look at the box, because I was, like, I'm not 100% if the zipper goes on the back or the front. 
Yeah, but I was gonna say I'm actually pleasantly surprised on how those Spider Verse figures look. Like, granted, I gotta see how they actually look in person. Um, but like from what I see from the promotional stuff, they look great. Like, I need me a Noir Spider Man so bad. Oh, already? I might have to check that out. Because um, usually a lot of stuff like around here, I'm pretty good at finding out. So generally, I don't pre-order them. Because, heck, even like a lot of the times I pre-order them big bad uh, for most states I sub. It's just kind of like as like a precaution. Or uh, like some of the Power Rangers stuff, I, like, I know I'm not going to see, so I definitely want to pre-order those guys. How the hell do you get this back in the... <laughs> We're sitting here. Don't mind me, just dressing my doll. Yeah, this does not want to sit in there. Yeah, I was like, Noir Spider-Man is my favorite. Uh, if, uh, oh, because who was it? Mesco? Mesco was making them? I was thinking about grabbing those guys. I ended up backing off just because, like, it was going to get kind of pricey. Just, again, I tried as my best to stay away from superhero stuff. Um, it was like the, like the first Spider-Man figure I bought him is the Tokusetsu ones. I'm about to give up on this and call it a day. Oh, oh, oh so close. I need a Maz to get this thing on. Yeah, a little bit. Though, to be fair, um, with the neck guys, little stuff, we probably wouldn't really be seeing anything anytime soon, anyways, even if they were doing them. Yeah, they lost the license. Oh, I got it. I got it. I think I got it. It's in the hole. All right, let's see if I can zip it. And zip. That'd be cool. I'm kind of like, uh, <laughs> all right, screw it. We're just gonna put paints in. Yeah. Uh, all right, so paints are paints are straight. <laughs> It's kind of sad too with the Nike Godzilla line because it was just like every time they were putting out stuff, like it's definitely getting like better and better and better. So it would have been great to kind of see like what would have happened with the line if it would have been able to keep going. These look kind of like the same pattern. Now I'm afraid I'm going to put this on wrong. Okay, because that box tells me. <laughs> so I got instructions here, but I'm afraid to flip this thing upside down. All right, we're just going to go with it. It hasn't been bad. I will say the joints have been relatively stiff, so I'm a little bit scared to kind of do things. Also, dressing it is not the easiest. We're getting there, though. I'd just be proud of me that I didn't have to put the booby things on the robot. <laughs> I'm like, that I can wait. <laughs> I'll do that in my spare time. When, uh, once uh, once I get like a full day off, I can mess around with that more. Uh, I'm so waiting to tear these pants. Thankfully, everything's been going according to plan. So that's cool. I'll say when I got this, I was kind of surprised that the, like, the clothes were actually on it. And then you like, they make you disrobe her. <laughs> like, no, it's got a naked robot right off the get go. All right, we're almost there. Her pants are a little droopy. I think, anyways. Uh, we 100% mean more 98 Godzilla figures. Like I said, I, I still really liked the movie. It was like the first one I got to see in theaters. And like, I remember like when I went and first saw the movie, like going into it, I knew it wasn't going to be a Godzilla movie. Like it just like, it wasn't. 
because even like the parts of the trailer and stuff like you, you already kind of got the gist that it was going to be something different than what you're originally accustomed to for a Godzilla movie. And I saw it. And when I was a kid, like I was in the Jurassic Park, dinosaurs, you name it. That was pretty much what the movie is. It's essentially just a giant version of Jurassic Park. You get your T-Rex, but he's way bigger than the other T-Rexes, you know? And I loved it. Like, I liked the characters. I thought it was cool at the time. And then uh, that same year, went to my first Godzilla convention. I found out that not everybody liked that movie, and I didn't understand why. Uh, I get it now. <laughs> the animated, the, like, the anime was easily the best thing to come out of that. The anime is great. Like, I got the box set sitting in the living room. Um, still haven't watched all of it yet. Like, we started watching it the one time. But, like, I've seen them all when, like, they originally came out. But finally, it's time to get this stupid jacket closed. Like, I got in the hang of getting it actually into the zipper part. I just need it to go all the way down so that I can pull it up and call it a day. Because, to be honest, the stream has been about 20 minutes longer than I originally wanted it to. Oh, I was going to say, I don't know if you guys seen this. We were thinking about doing a video, but, like, um, Monday's kind of turned into my filming days. Um. So, like, new stuff would have to wait till then. But with um, Netflix or HBO HBO Max getting a hold of the movie for streaming, which, as of this point, I'm all down for. <laughs> I like, too, that, like, we're already hearing, like, bids, like, oh, it could be streaming to streaming services. And that'd be cool. But I still haven't seen a trailer. <laughs> Like it's a little bit more of a gorgo. I can kind of agree with that. Although gorgo's like the monster showed it because of, because they can have the baby if I remember right, right? In a hot minute. Eh, come on. <laughs> Good, they just gave me a bigger zipper to hook it, like to at least like get this thing set in that I can pop it off when I want to. Yeah, well, it's like he was never really licensed as well. Well, originally licensed as well. <gasps> it's moved. <laughs> We're almost there, peeps. Oh, this is a short. I think I'm starting to sweat. I don't know if it's just because of that, if I'm hot in here, or if this is actually fudging strenuous. Oh, all right. Maybe it'll help if I squeeze the shirt together and then try to pull. Have a good one, Sal. Uh, I think we're calling it a day. <laughs> yeah, it's like even like when I try to do customs. I try to avoid hope. Oh. I'm kind of just doing this like brute force now, and it's sort of working. <laughs> oh, it's on. It's on. Look, it's on. <laughs> She's got clothes. She's not naked anymore for the collection. Oh. All right. I will say one negative. I think this looks, I actually really like it with the clothes on. Right success. Um, you can kind of see those some of like the joint section kind of popping in, which is eh. um, but I think it looks good. Uh, my only concern is like these sections here could possibly tear. Uh, because it doesn't look like there's really like and there's no stitching or anything around there, so it's just the fabric. Um, so I can see like this part over time having some issues if not taken care of properly. Uh, because this is just like this is just leather, so you kind of have to treat it as such. God, I hope I put these pants on right. Like it looked right. To, oh yeah, because there's like the the butt line, so should be good. Um, yeah, I'll put the hand on. Let's be honest, it's all gonna have it displayed. All right, ready to break a figure.
Okay, cool. <laughs> Got it off. Ever since like my uh, my old um, the Ultra at Grid Man, I've always been like super hesitant with hands. That was like one of my early Ultra X too. It's just like the thing. It was just like I'm right, gonna swap the hands out. <laughs> Takes the joint with the half of it. I'm like, all right, well that sucks. Well, I guess I'll well, at least get the one hand I want. That goes flying off too. I'm just like, well, all right, cool. Um, here she is with the sword. And I wish I wasn't focusing on my giant head. Still ain't focusing rates. So my apologies. Uh, but if you guys be interested, uh, I I would definitely consider like doing a full fledged review of this. Although that means I'd have to take the clothes back off, and I'm not sure if I'm willing to do that. <laughs> but yeah, no, definitely. It's a cool figure for sure. Um, it's just. Again, like it's kind of like you gotta sit here and like play with it a little bit here and there just to kind of loosen it up. Although now that I like seeing it with the, the soft goods on, I really wish it would actually had the actual hair. Because especially since like I would already have to kind of worry about this to begin with in terms of just like keeping it up, uh, so that this isn't gonna eventually like dry up and rip off. Like the hair wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Um then at least like maybe something a little more, more dynamic looking because it is a little bit on the stagnant side. Um, not sure if we're gonna put the clinch fist on her. Oh yeah, I got the boots. I'll do that in my spare time. But anyways, I'll see what I talk to you guys for another minute or two, and then I'm gonna go to bed. She does have a heart. Uh... Put it back in the box. Yep. Comes with the heart. It's also got these little wires. You have to put them actually in there. Um, but wasn't really going to be displaying it like that. So. Um, it's cool. Like it's one the, the nice thing about these, which is kind of reminds me a lot of like a much larger scale Figma, which you can kind of see a bunch of them back here. It's just like you get a bunch of accessories, and then just like plenty of options you can do because it's like the way I'm going to be displaying it isn't well like um, like there's no correct way to display it I'm trying to remember what the Beast Force sound wave was you have to send me a picture um, you could definitely rip her heart out well technically it's already ripped out <laughs> but yeah it's like held in by a magnet uh, earlier on in the video uh, we showed that a little bit more. That's her tank from Ultra 7. Sweet. I see, you know, I think it was Amiami. It was like before COVID and everything. Uh, they had the X Plus up on there. And I'm like, you know what? I don't really buy too many of the Ultraman X Pluses, uh, like our X Pluses in general. But uh, he seemed like a winner. <laughs> uh, decided not to. Uh, is your favorite kaiju changed since you did your favorite kaiju figures? Nah, it's still like pretty much Biolante and Legion are still my favorite too. Yeah, I cannot remember what the sound wave was. To be fair, also, still wait from the speaking of X Plus, this is actually um, I paid for my Iris a bit ago. Um, but I think it doesn't start shipping till like the end of the month. Makes me sad. I'm excited still. Uh, they go with the gamma. I still wish like back in the day I would have got the Legion. I still regret not grabbing that thing. Because like prices nowadays, like no no reason to grab that thing whatsoever. Uh, wouldn't mind the smaller one. And I almost kind of want the smaller one to actually make into a figure. <laughs> uh, sort of akin to like a um, monster. It's like put actual like joint like. Cut it in pieces and put joints in and make it posable, I think would be cool. Uh, but that one's like, I think a pipe dream because uh, the price, even like that old X Plus, is still like about 150 And for the most part, I like, I'm probably better off just like displaying it next to the monster instead of just messing around with it. Hey, Benzilla, how's it going? Yeah, I don't get too many. Um, the Legion's definitely one of them, though, because it is like, 
next to Violante, my favorite monster, and like easily my favorite monster from the Gamma movies. Iris being a close second, so like I'm glad I got getting the Iris, but would have been cool. Definitely would have been cool. So I gotta rebuy that Revolt Tech after I broke the one, and then we did the custom video for that. Um, no, nah, probably no marmots. Um, I think the only marmot. Um, I know they're making a shin, and I kind of want that, but I'm not certain yet. Um. Yeah, because to be honest, like Godzilla Wiser, sadly, isn't really that much right now that I'm really like super pumped for. Uh, mainly just like that default real Dr. Serizawa, I think is super sweet looking. Uh, but those are like, there's no monster arts, the vinyls, like Playmates, but like for the most part, I mainly just buy the Playmates just for video purposes. I definitely would much rather watch it so. Um, oh yeah, like this the yeah the both of the sh like the shim armor versions look sweet. I I probably I I got off on an order. I got some extra money right now. I probably should. I know Jessica would really like it. But anyways, back to the other thing. Like I definitely would much rather watch it in cinemas. And like I don't see a reason why I couldn't go to cinema. Like give us like um stream like put it up on a street like exclusive on a streaming site and then why release it into theaters at some point because especially like with the how like little they've been like advertising that movie and stuff like that outside of just like the toys in general i think it's probably better off for them to maybe try to do it that way like kind of do like a weird like avengers thing where it's like you put on your streaming services to try to recoup the majority of your money and then like general release it to kind of bump up your product costs well, not cost like uh, your um, rep return. I think it's the word I'm more looking for. Yeah, like I'm, I'll watch it regardless. Like I got surround sound. We got the big screen TV here. Like I definitely don't mind watching Godzilla and Kong Duke it out in the homes. But I thought, God, I miss movie theater popcorn so bad. I think it's like the one thing. Like since COVID's happened, I've been having withdrawals and movie theater popcorn. Oh, it's the fat boy coming out of me, but it was like, like there'd be times where it was like, I don't even, there's not even a movie I really care to watch, but I want popcorn. So like, I just go, <laughs> we'll figure it out on the way. Yeah, like, they're sort of expensive. Like it's like concession stuff. It's more like, I always like to just kind of because of like the experience, I guess is the best way to say it. But I, don't know, I still really like cinemas. Because, um, hell, I even drive, like, um, like the theaters in town are okay. And we have, like, a smaller, uh, like, a small movie house here, too, which is pretty nice. But generally, like, if like if I was going to go watch Godzilla vs. Con, I would probably be driving down to the IMAX that's, like, 45 minutes away to go check it out. Yeah, that's kind of it. Like you, you're not really like into the streaming services. Like it was only twelve bucks to go see it in theaters, um, and then again, you can't. Again, you're kind of paying for like the experience because like not a lot of people have like that big of a screen to watch it on with that audio quality and what have you. Um, so like I always really like going like any kind of like big budget movies. I always generally just like would check it out on IMAX. I was like still like my. Uh, like definitely, like I think if I would, if I would saw Pacific Rim at home, I don't even think I would probably um, like I would have liked the movie. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it would have had as much impact on me as if I like didn't see it in theaters first. If that makes sense to anybody. It's kind of like the cinemas, like because even at home, like I'm like my surround sounds like decent here, but like you don't get like. When the monsters roar, it's not like my house vibrates. <laughs> Unlike at the theater. There's actually, uh, Dragons is one thing, like, there's actually quite a bit of them around here, uh, where I live. Like, not here, but, like, it, there's not much, like, I don't have to drive that far if I really wanted to go see it. Heck, I remember, uh, it was like, Walmart was going to be doing Dragons at some point. I don't, I, I don't know what happened to that. But that that, that should have been a thing more.
Ooh, they don't do 4K? I don't have HBO Max. Um, so I, uh, I was like, can't confirm nor deny. But that would kind of suck, to be fair. Although, then again, like, I got this, it's sad here because, like, I got a 4K play, I got a 4K TV, nothing that plays 4K. Because <laughs> I was going to get the new Xbox to go with that, but I, I, those sold out. So have to wait till like next year to get one of those guys, at least from what it sounds like. Yeah, just kind of like what a, a gene. Geo? Hopefully it's Sebastian. I know Sebastian. <laughs> no, Xbox. <laughs> PS5, uh, to be honest, I kind of both. Jessica wants the PS5 because of uh, the the Five Nights at Freddy's exclusive. But that's like, that's it. That's all there really is. Like Spider Man. <laughs> um, but I mainly want the Xbox for Halo. Yeah, that's kind of it too. I just, I like, I just want to see it now. Like, I'm sick of waiting. <laughs> Need something to talk about. Darn it. Oh, and then also, like, then if they do that, then the Monster Arts figures just start coming out, so we can start getting more of those pumping through. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, because like, uh, the only reason I like, I had HBO Max for a few because of a buddy. Because he wanted to be, get me into Game of Thrones, and then I still never got into Game of Thrones. I was watching um, John Oliver on it. Was the thing I actually was checking out. Um, yeah, outside of that, to be honest, with me, not a bad way to get people over. I know a lot of people like the Wonder Woman movies, although I never, even the newest Wonder Woman movie, I still haven't seen. Oh, I think I remember the Spider-Man you're talking about. Yeah, to be fair, it wouldn't be too bad. Oh, first Godzilla movie? It's hard for me to remember, because, like, the, um, I remember, like, the first... Uh, the first few Godzilla movies I've seen, but I don't remember which one I saw first. Like, I want to say... It was Godzilla versus Gigan. But it could have also been Godzilla versus Megalon, King Kong versus Godzilla, or Godzilla 1985. Because uh, those are the ones like I earliest remember. And I think it's between Megalon 85, because I definitely remember when the when I was a kid, uh like we rented the movie from Blockbuster because my mom because I was again really in the dinosaurs. So my mom was like, oh, this might be cool. So we watched it. And then I had that Godzilla meets Bambi. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid. That messed me up for a day. <laughs> and then there was the tick scene, which terrified me. And then we got to the Godzilla stuff. I'm like, okay, cool, giant dinosaurs movie's awesome. But it was like the first movie like when I was a kid that was like not really meant to scare you, but it did for reasons. And then it just kind of stuck around with me. And then I remember like Guy game fairly vividly just because, like, I think uh, it was one of the like earlier ones that my mom bought that raids again, and pretty much watched those like at least once a week. Yeah, I need super fun. Like I said, still really love it. Uh, mainly Showa. It's definitely Showa for the longest time. I didn't see Heisei till almost high school. I know, like I see, like eighty four. I saw 84, 84, 1985 when I was younger. But like Godzilla versus Biolante was like the last one I seen out of the bunch. Because uh, we got a bunch of like the VHSs when I went to that Godzilla convention. So that's how I got to see um, pretty much everybody else. I think it was the only ones I had. Not from the convention at the time was King Ghidorah and Mothra were out in VHS, but uh, like Mecha Godzilla, Space Godzilla, Destroya, and Biolante at the time weren't out yet. So that got the VHS got copies through that.
No, definitely 10 seconds. Not super long. Well, I guess the ever fight's a little longer because you got the guys like jumping around shooting layers and pew, 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 pew. <laughs> uh, favorite Godzilla movie? Still Godzilla. Uh, King Kong versus Godzilla. 1962. Um, easily my favorite. <sighs> It'd be cool if they came out all at once. I'm still waiting for that stupid war bat. <laughs> or wherever it's called now. Because uh, back when like that was on the back of the Playmates box and just have seen nothing of it since. But then again, uh, I see why it hasn't come out because it's, easy, like, it's definitely more spoilery than the rest of them. And that's also the reason why we haven't gotten like Mecha Godzilla and stuff like that, if uh, if you will. But I imagine if it hits the streaming service, they'd probably be like trying to pump those things out as fast as possible. At least getting like Godzilla and Khan out for sure uh, for Monster Arts. I'll have to check that out, Benzilla. Yeah, King Ghidorah is a good one. I still really like that one. Yes, yeah, so I like them all. There's just like varying degrees of how rewatchable they are for me is essentially it. Um, uh, The animated one. The animated ones. Because I've only seen them once. <laughs> Still really didn't like the anime. Hey, buddy, you wake up? My dog just woke up. It sucks for you because I'm going to bed. Don't give me the look. You want to see how Bubba the Rangers? You want to see Bubba the Rangers? You can come here. Come here. I moved the boxes for you. Come here. Put the table. Hey, Shinji. He's got a flea collar. Because I think he got fleas from the neighbor dog. Hi, you're supposed to sit, not give me kisses. Say hi. Hi, the Rangers. What's going on? I see my face on the screen. Uh, if they're going to make anything, I would definitely like a Monster Art Zilla. I think would be dope. Okay. I was like, he's lost. Uh, I don't know about show Rodan. Like, I, I feel like we need to get like some of the monsters to kind of like fit, like tie together some of the shows that we've gotten already. Like a Mothra would be great to go with the 64. Like we could use a Khan. We could use the Godzilla to go with the Mecha Godzilla. Titanosaurus would also make a lot of sense. Um, then, yeah. After that, just kind of just go crazy. Still waiting for an orga. <sighs> yeah, that was kind of my worry with that thing, too. I don't know how, like, um, I probably should have looked into it more, but um, if it sell, if they like ship it out as like one solid piece. I could definitely see have, uh, having a lot of issues because, uh, like, the Xbox one was notably had the same problem. Uh, and that was vinyl. <laughs> so, I uh, it made me sad too because I wanted to get it. But God, that price. I think, like, I think it's just like I'm just going to wait for the Xbox because I think the problem too is the different materials would bug me a bit. Um, though, they got that Burning Gods. What? I see right there. Oh, Anyways, uh, they got that burning Godzilla that's 50 centimeters. I think looks gorgeous. Like easily the best looking. Uh, I think it's the most movie accurate burning Godzilla that they got. For sure. Because uh, it's just like they got like the black and the drosa spines. He's more of like a dark red than like the bright oranges and yellows that you see on a lot of them. But it's definitely cool. Like I like that if you like. It gives you like a nice scale for like if you got like the X plus Godzilla, and then you like you kind of have a Ghidorah to go along with it, and it's a great looking Ghidorah. But God, like yeah, that shipping is like got to be astronomical for that thing, right? Godzilla suit sixty two. <laughs> favorite movie, favorite suit. Um, I would say it used to be 
I really like the 84 suit. I used to be like my number one for the longest time, but like 60s is just like always got like a little soft spot in my heart. I would I would think Shua Gigan, because he's got buzz saws and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that's my only concern about that thing. Is like it's good. He's gonna be a hefty boy, but it looks so good. <sighs> like I'm kind of waiting to see what his price and like what the payment plans are gonna be for that thing. Like uh, he might be like the one like big ass expensive Godzilla that I'm like willing to invest in for my uh, collection. I don't know where I'd put it. We're kind of running out of room, especially for that section of the house. That's all giant monster stuff. Like, I would have to go there. You guys don't see it because I'm looking at it, but there's, like, a spot over there where it has a lot of, like, my large stuff. But that's primarily where all my 98 sit, so they would have to get a new home. I could always put up shelving, though. That's one thing I haven't done. Probably should. Yeah, they're light up, like, especially with the eyes and everything. Like, it's just, like, sold. Because, <laughs> like, the Xbox one, like, looks really good. But again, like the color is like a little off. And it's kind of like the same problem like the monster arts have, where like the color is super off. Um, the NECA was probably like the closest one we've had outside of that. Um, which I still, it was just still like a little bit off. And like even like the one I did, uh, I was trying to make it look more like if it was like an actual lighting, this is the way it would look. But like if you're going by movie look, still off. Uh, I guess we'll end it on this because I definitely need to go back. <laughs> uh, but my least favorite NECA Godzilla, probably, uh, God, it's close because like 84 was pretty bad. It, I, it's probably, it's got to be Shin, right? Shin, definitely the worst of the NECAs. Uh, and then my favorite, I would have to say is the 89. The 89 was, well, that's a lie. 24 inch 2014. If we're going by the regular ones, 89. It would be nice if they reissue a lot of those guys over the main dice, to be fair. Because, like, pretty much any of them, like a lot of the Memorial box set ones, I would really enjoy getting. I don't think it was bad. <laughs> uh, I think the 95 was like, it's a serviceable Godzilla figure for what it was. Um, and then it's just like most of the figures just kind of got better after that. Well, yeah, that's a lot. We had the 84, which and <laughs> we eventually got 54, and then it got better from there. Uh, I did not. I've heard it's a little bit better, uh, but looking at it, it's still uh, it wasn't good enough for me to really want to pick up. Like I was thinking about grabbing it for like review purposes. Um, that I really like the poster. Actually, one of the posters I really would like to actually just get from my collection. Um, but I really would want like a senior one. Hey, Bruno. But okay. I will see you guys later. Help us beat those kaijus by hitting the like button. Subscribe, become a Ranger Day if you already haven't. And see you guys in the next video. Oh, my. oh yeah, I was going to unbox this thing. I don't got time, but. When I get more stuff in, I got like a Puella figure, but we'll save that. See you guys.